The delay in this investigation only benefits Beijing. It gets an opportunity to wash its sins. This happened today. China announced that it will participate in the WHO-backed global vaccine program. The question still remains, though. Can Chinese vaccines be trusted? Our next report has more. This is the world's biggest mystery, a Chinese vaccine. The world knows practically nothing about it. Global agencies have not approved it. But that hasn't stopped China from administering it. Thousands of people in China are being inoculated with unproven vaccines. The list includes members of the medical fraternity, government workers and the military. Now China wants to take its unproven vaccines beyond the mainland. So it has now joined COVAX a World Health Organization project that aims to distribute Wuhan virus vaccines to poorer nations. Even though the research and development of several of China's vaccines is at international leading position with ample production capacity, but we still decided to join the implementation initiative. Our purpose is to advance the equitable distribution of vaccines through concrete action, ensure they can be offered to developing countries and at the same time spur more capable countries will also join and support COVAX. Why is China doing this? Beijing has been hesitant to commit to the global effort. Officials in China said they've already promised vaccines to a number of allies. Plus, they have not shared details about their vaccine program. There's no clarity on whether vaccine recipients are being tracked or monitored for any side effects. Beijing has poured billions into multiple vaccine projects. It owns rights to most of the potential vaccines in late-stage trials. What it lacks is credibility, and this effort is to earn some points. China wants a vaccine to fight criticism over the pandemic cover-up. In recent weeks, Chinese companies have tried to take their trials abroad, allegedly because they were unable to find enough volunteers at home. In China's Shaoyang city, the local officials issued orders to hunt for more volunteers. This notice was put up. It says people in schools, kindergartens and nursing homes could qualify for emergency use of vaccines. China's vaccine project has hit roadblocks in Pakistan too. Doctors are urging people to volunteer for a shot of vaccines, but few want to be guinea pigs for an unproven vaccine. So a lot of challenges whenever you have introduced something new and vaccine is a part of it. And vac vaccine hesitancy, unfortunately, in, Pakistan, in a country like Pakistan is also pretty much high. Despite the concerns, China has turned to propaganda to showcase itself as a front-runner in the vaccine race. One top official used the vaccine to showcase her loyalty to the party. Way back in March, Major General Chen Wei, who is China's top epidemiologist, took a shot of a vaccine even before it was tested on animals. The shot was administered to Chen and six others. The Chinese state media proudly beamed these images. Even the PLA shared the photographs, only to delete them later from Weibo. China has four vaccines in the last phase of clinical trials. Taking an unproven vaccine is a shot in the dark. And in the case of China, few may want to take it. Bureau Report, we on World is One. Thank you for watching Gravitas on Rion's YouTube channel. If you want to stay up to date with what's happening around the world, then subscribe to our channel and don't forget to like and share. Thank you very much for watching. We on World is One.